Hey everyone, today we have five ways to do the butterfly sweep in Nogi. Uh, the butterfly sweep, it's a really high percentage sweep, one of my favorites, and uh, just we're going to go over some grip variations today. And just on a note before we start, so some people go to the back, but you should really be kind of falling into the side. So you're going to have one grip, you're going to control their arm at either the elbow or the wrist, and then you're going to roll to your shoulder right like this as soon as you get up high you want to kick with the with your butterfly butterfly hook all right so with that being said let's jump right in let's go that way just a little bit all right so just some notes on the position um, i want to always keep my head lower than his if i don't he can pummel in right get under hooks that's it's not good we don't want that Right, so I always want to keep low, and my go-to one, as I just go for the underhook, I control the elbow, I stay low, right here, like I'm on his shoulder, right? And now whatever side I'm dropping to, I'm going to take my leg and pop down like that, okay? So I'm just going to roll to my shoulder, like that, kick, go up side control, all right? So the underhook and the elbow, that's my go-to. But some guys, they, they stay super tight, so you can't really pummel in that well. So uh, usually like my follow-up, if I can't get the underhook, I just go to like a collar tie right here. And with the butterfly sweep, I always want to keep my elbows in nice and tight so I'm strong, so he can't post out, so he can't pummel in. Okay, so I'm going for the underhook, it's not working. I'm gonna reach up here, get a collar tie, same thing, grab the elbow tight. Or you can grab the wrist, either way works pretty well. So I'm here, same thing, I'm gonna drop my knee to the floor, to the floor roll, come up like that, scarf hold. All right, so say I'm not doing a good job of like head fighting and staying low. Maybe he goes to fight and he gets double unders, or goes to flatten me. Immediately get double overs, right? And same thing, roll. Go up to the scarf hold. This one's a little bit different, but same concept. I'm going to keep this arm trapped. I'm going to grip him like I would grip like a, uh, like a two-point arm drag, okay? So I'm grabbing around like his tricep and his elbow, pulling out away from his body where it's weak, keeping his arm bent, and I'm gripping his wrist here, right? So I've got a lot of control over him right here. Right, same thing. I'm still going to stay low. Drop this knee to the mat. Roll. Go over. Get on top. Okay. Now, one more. You can set up kind of off the, like, the two point. Maybe he's a little too slippery to go for it or something. We're here. I'm going to go for the great white grip. So, I'm going to stay heavy. I'm going to try and bring this arm to the mat, like where his hand is. Bring my inside arm. Cup it tight, like that, right? Like elbow to elbow. I'm gonna slide this hand in, like I would a rear naked choke. Same thing, stay low, drop this knee to the mat. Go to get on top, or if you want, from here, step over and bring it in, like modified Kimura, okay? So, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.